We were starting a meeting, and I mentioned that we there was a mention of our having grown graphene from sugar, and so I said, well, we could grow it from any carbon source. For example, a Girl Scout cookie, because Girl Scout cookies were being served at the, t at the time, and. Uh, so one of the people in the room said, yes, please do it from a Girl Scout cookie. One box of a Girl Scouts, like the, the, the normal box I show you, is two. And this covers a 29.5 American football fields. Imagine how whole lot this can make. And uh, if we cut them into these small pieces and sell them, uh, because somebody will buy them, and uh, it will be worth more than $15 billion. So the box we will use today, I will open it, and we will throw graphene from this box with the piece. Okay, this is the cookie. We'll give to Gordon, cut it into small pieces. But the key is that it's really an example of chemistry. Carbon is carbon. It doesn't matter the source. If there's carbon in it and it's predominantly carbon, we could convert it to graphene. At those temperatures on top of a copper foil, uh, it will break down and convert to graphene. And so since a Girl Scout cookie is, I knew, had to be predominantly a carbohydrate, we could then convert that carbohydrate, which is predominantly carbon, into graphene. And indeed it worked. Now, there's some guys who are selling it, but uh, you can imagine if you took the cookies. Yeah, I mean, you can do it. Yeah. 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 Okay, we will start the timer. You know? No. All the coffee you will make just now. Uh, so how much do you think it's that much? Is it that little much? But, uh, if, if Remember how much cookies we use, right? Right, Well, we bring this and we break it. Probably like 50 cents. Right? Can I make it like a cent? Sorry, Albert. It's probably like 50 cents. No, it's more than 50 cents. We're making 50 dollars. So if we use this, it's a Girl Scouts were able to learn is that carbon, no matter what the source, can be transformed into another carbon-containing compound. And that's, that's the basis behind all of chemistry. But also, I think that they learned what a research laboratory is like and some of the steps that are involved here. So it was good to be able to have them in the lab. Okay. Because it doesn't like to feel anything.